I get asked quite a bit like what is actually craft coffee brewing and it's really pretty much just like any other craft pursuit. It's about the whole bespoke something you've created yourself just the way you like it, not store bought, that you actually become very proud of. The origins of um, craft coffee brewing, have, they've been around for a very long time so there's certain pockets um, you know, within the world that have really focused on craft brewing. But I suppose the grassroots of it would be in the US. So it's a big, uh, you know, filter coffee market. A few years ago, it was all about siphon. Now it's all about cold brew, cold drip and nitro. But I think the mainstay of the whole, the whole scene is probably pour over. So using a Hario V60 or a Kalita Wave or some other form of manual dripper, it's very simple. And you're able to brew a coffee that showcases the actual beans that have been used, the processing methods, and the roasting as well. When you look at craft coffee brewing, you get to taste everything about the coffee. You can taste all about the terroir, all about the way it's roasted, uh, all about the way it's processed, and then ultimately the way the barista brews the coffees. I think you find that um, you know, most people who are brewing craft coffee at home, they're always sort of striving to replicate what they've experienced outside. It's not as seamless uh, experience as they would like. And that's because you know they just don't understand the nuances of it. So it's just not going out and buying forty dollar a pound geisha and um, you know expecting to get great tasting coffee at home. There is a little bit of complexity to it. There's about I think half a dozen brewers that currently have the SCA certification for home brewers. Most of the current crop of uh, of drip filter coffee makers on the market today are they're flawed because they they don't allow you to adjust temperature. They don't have precise control over temperature, but it's the lack of adjustability, I think, that, um, that really limits them and, and makes um, you know, making great tasting coffee at home pretty difficult. At Breville, when you start a project, you really immerse yourself and you take a deep dive into the category. And you do it from, I suppose, a food perspective, from a consumer perspective, and from a, um, a commercial techniques perspective. So, you get an understanding of all of the drivers uh, in those particular areas. Now, for us, we, we want great tasting coffee. That's the objective. Our research pretty much said that we need precise control over temperature. Temperature needs to be adjustable and we need to control contact time. Those three variables actually are the gatekeepers for great tasting coffee. Precise control over water temperature is critical in, uh, in delivering great tasting coffee. Plus or minus one degree makes a massive difference. A degree too hot and it'll be ashy. A degree too cold and it'll be grassy and underdeveloped. Water delivery speed is one of those elements that's critical to, uh, to great tasting coffee. You need water speed at just the right rate. We realised pretty quickly that we couldn't go with the current architecture that was being used by our competitors. So we really needed to come up with our own innovative, unique, bespoke system. And we ended up with a system that was very similar to something that we know very well, and that's, that's a thermocoil, PID temperature controlled, and coupled to a pump. The same system that we'd use in most of our espresso machines. One of the specifications that formed part of the product brief was uh, we wanted 12 cup capacity. Most of the brewers that are on the market either have eight or 10. The other thing that we wanted to do was make sure that um, when you brewed a smaller volume of coffee that you would get good taste. This is one of the things where other brewers struggle. We have a uh, patent pending steep and release valve, which allows us to hold the coffee and the water together automatically when you're making smaller volumes so that you don't get coffee that's really watery and underdeveloped, you get coffee that's uh, approaching the same flavour profile as when you brew um, you know, 8, 10 or 12 cups. Most of the brewers on the market are sort of one-dimensional uh, in their approach because when they were designed, they were really only had a single purpose and that was just to brew drip full of coffee. The other styles of coffee that are out there at the moment really weren't as prevalent when those brewers were designed. The Precision Brewer is probably one of the most flexible coffee brewers on the market with six unique modes that have great flexibility. So for the first time you're able to get 12 cups or 60 ounces of drip coffee in under seven minutes. We have a strong mode which delivers a bolder, stronger tasting cup of coffee. We have a gold mode which automatically sets all of the brewer's parameters to meet the gold cup standards set by SCA. 
We have an over ice mode, which delivers a stronger tasting coffee so that you don't get the dilution of the ice watering down the coffee taste. And we have an automatic cold brew mode. We have my brew. This allows you to adjust all the variables, bloom time, water temperature, and water delivery speed. We also have a unique pour over mode. This allows you to use your own Hario V60 or Kalita Wave Dripper. Our goal is always to deliver something that's going to benefit the consumer. I think the Precision Brewer is going to be a groundbreaking piece of drip filter coffee equipment. It allows the consumer at home to deliver a huge number of different types of craft coffee and all of them automatically. You can get the same taste time after time and you can adjust those critical variables that you can't adjust now on the market. It's precision, it's flexibility. I think it's going to change the market and that's, uh, that's why everyone at Breville is excited about this product.